click the bell icon and subscribe to our channel so that you will not miss any classes hello welcome to class as we discussed uh, from the last class there are various tools used in constructing a recombinant dna so among them the very important tool used in recombinant dna technology is found to be restriction enzymes restriction enzymes restriction enzymes are naturally produced in bacteria as a defense structures as a defense mechanism in bacteria there is production of restriction enzymes so that is if we are infected with any pathogen say for example bacteria or virus to fight against that our body will produces antibodies right in such a way there are virus which can infect bacteria they are called bacteriophages bacteriophages are the virus which can infect the bacteria say for example this is bacteriophage and this bacteriophage will have the dna whenever it is infecting the bacteria it will sends its dna into the bacterial cell and no doubt bacteria itself also have the dna or the chromosome if this bacteriophage dna enters into the bacteria it will starts producing the bacteriophage finally the bacteria will get lysed and it will die to prevent this what the bacteria will do bacteria will produces enzymes and those enzymes are of two types to protect itself from the bacteriophage bacteria will produces two types of enzymes and they are called and those two types of enzymes are restriction enzymes restriction enzymes and another type of enzymes are methylases methylases and restriction enzymes are able to protect the bacteria from bacteriophages as our antibodies do against the pathogens same way they will be working but here the working mechanism will be different here the restriction enzymes and methylases they have different roles first we shall discuss what restriction enzymes will do the restriction enzymes will chop the dna or cut the dna which dna i told two to have two dna here one is of bacteriophage and another is of bacteria both the dna will be present right this restriction enzyme what it will do it will cut the bacteriophage dna cut the bacteriophage dna bacteriophage dna at specific sites specific sites here and there it will not cut it will cut there are specific three sequences present at that sequence it will cut the dna of bacteriophage and this cutting mechanism is of two types and this is based upon at what part the restriction enzyme is cutting the dna based on that we can classify restriction enzymes as two types one is 
endonucleases endonucleases and another one is exonucleases exonucleases and the endonucleases and no doubt restriction enzymes are having only one function that is they will chop or cut the viral dna at specific sites so at what part they are cutting or in what way they are cutting the dna based on that the restriction enzymes are classified as two types restriction endonucleases and restriction ex exonucleases sorry restriction endonucleases and restriction exonucleases let us discuss what uh, exactly they have the function in bacteria bacterial cell so suppose if it is a viral dna consider it as a viral dna and it has a sequences like a p p a g c c a p so like this the dna is present this is viral dna and the complementary sequence for this p a g c g g a so this is the sequence and of course the primes in prime and five so what exonucleases do i will explain now exonucleases restriction exonucleases will remove remove the nucleotides nucleotides from ends remove the nucleotides from ends that is suppose it is the ends of the dna so in this way they go on removing the nucleotides one by one so now the dna is not cutting to two part entire dna will be dissociated into nucleotides so no fragments of dna are obtained from exonucleases whereas endonucleases what they will do endonucleases will recognize specific sequences in the dna specific sequence here and there they will not cut they will cut or uh, they will recognize the specific sequence say for example here is the specific sequence later i will explain how so when they cut the dna at the specific sequence there is a formation of two fragments of dna this is 3 prime 5 prime 5 prime 3 prime so two fragments of dna are obtained no doubt for a bacteria it is important to chop the dna how it doesn't matter but for recombinant dna technology how it cuts the dna will matters so based on that the used restriction enzyme in recombinant dna technology are endonucleases but not exonucleases exonucleases are of no use because they chop the dna into nucleotides so we will not obtain the fragments of dna so isolation of dna is not possible with exonucleases so with the usage of endonucleases it is possible to obtain or it is possible to isolate the fragments of dna hence in recombinant dna technology they make use of restriction endonucleases just do not say restriction enzymes restriction enzymes you will refer to both exonucleases as well as endonucleases but in recombinant dna technology we use restriction endonucleases for cutting the dna for isolating the dna and now if uh, this is the function let, let, let us leave it there 
the later we will continue how endonucleases are used in recombinant DNA technology. Come here now. I told in bacterial cell there are bacterial DNA as well the bacteriophage DNA. Both are the DNA. So how the restriction enzyme will recognize it is of bacterial DNA, it is of bacteriophage DNA and which DNA I have to cut. So that recognition will possible because of methylases. So methylases enzymes they will add, add the methyl group methyl group to bacterial DNA. So this is how the restriction enzymes will recognize the bacterial DNA. That is restriction enzymes will not cut the DNA which is methylated and methylation will be done in bacteria. That is the very peculiar and specific characteristic of an bacterial cell. We are, you must have studied in molecular biology methylation, addition of methyl group is a specific characteristic in case of prokaryotes. So methylases and methylase enzyme will add the methyl group to bacterial DNA once it is formed upon replication. And this is not there in the viral DNA. So if the restriction enzymes will cut the DNA which is not methylated. So this is how the differentiation will be done. So I, that's why I told there are two enzymes responsible for protecting the bacterial cell from the bacteriophages. And now onwards we shall be discussing on the restriction endonucleases. And one more thing. The restriction enzymes belongs to the broad group of enzymes called nucleases. There is a broad group of enzymes called nucleases. That means the enzymes which, which cut the nuclear material. So for that group, the restriction enzymes will be belonging. And restriction enzymes based on their uh, mode of action, they are classified into two types. Restriction exonucleases which can remove the nucleotide from the end and restriction endonucleases which will cut the DNA at specific recognition sequences and they form a pieces of DNA. Hence, in recombinant DNA technology, we make use of restriction endonucleases but not of exonucleases. And uh, mechanism of action and classification of restriction enzymes or restriction endonucleases we shall discuss in the next class.